If you like to see two merchandise trains in a row, and who doesn't, then this is the video for you. I just happened to be down at Car Peak Park near Seattle this morning, and there was not one but two merchandise trains going in opposite directions. So if you need to keep track of what's being shipped or improve your model railroad, just check this out. Look at those weird cars. Well, you can hear me breathing in the background. I've just been running down to Car Creek Park and I heard the sound of a train coming. So there it is in the distance. Will it be interesting? Time will tell. It's looking pretty good, like uh, maybe we'll have a merchandise train here. It's a little early in the morning, something in the neighborhood of 7.15 a.m. So the light isn't too good for rail fanning, but we'll just have to make do. I'll make some comments as we go along, but if you have any information on these trains or specific cars, feel free to enter that as a comment below, and we'll all benefit from your knowledge. Hoppers, tanks, empty plywood cars. This is interesting if those are empty moving southbound. I would expect something more like this, a loaded lumber car coming down from British Columbia. Odd to see so many southbound empty center beam cars. And those loaded cars, I don't think that's lumber. I think that's uh, roofing material or some other manufactured product. Maybe this is a westbound train instead of a southbound train that I was assuming. That's more like it. What a beautiful morning. A minute later, we're seeing the train in the sun way off in the distance, approaching Golden Gardens. A nice peaceful morning scene with a little bit of breeze. Sad to see that train go, but that's what happens when trains pass you. What? Wait! Wait! There's another one coming northbound! Can you believe my luck? Outstanding! I'm thinking that's another merchandise train. Look at all the variety of colors, shapes, sizes. Excellent. Yeah, 
Here she comes. A little bit of a flat wheel on that one. Now that's the direction I expect those empty racks to be going in. Northbound up to the forests of British Columbia. The wind is really picking up this morning too. It's blowing my head off. Now what are those containers? Is that dirty dirt containers? Now there's a weathering job for you. Well, that's all I have for you today, except for a little bit of environmental tranquility after the passage of our two trains. This is a great rail fanning spot in the world. The pedestrian overpass right over the two tracks signals giving you an idea of what might be coming and the peace of the ocean fun to see the end of train device at the very end there And on the top here, you see an airplane flying by on approach to Payne Field and Everett. And the lapping of the waves. Today's high tide is going to be followed by a minus three foot tide, which is quite extreme. We have about a 12 or 14 foot normal tidal excursion here, but today it's going to be even more extreme. And there's the Olympic Peninsula off to the west. Beautiful mountain range. Beautiful morning. Beautiful beach. And as usual, this is Burr Stewart wishing you much fun with trains. Or birds for that matter. <laughs>